What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys something a little bit different. Now a lot of people have been asking me how to get rid of offline players on the sidebar for the scoreboard objectives for the Bedrock Edition and instead of going over that and trying to complicate your minds with something that's very difficult to do but uh, I'll do that in a later video. I created another way to be able to display your uh, server that uses a scoreboard objective for like shop and money <coughs> that you guys uh excuse me i'm still kind of sick guys so please forgive me um but i created a system that as you guys can see rose factions and it has a balance of 100 uh, that's the money for Daycom black rose 2 which is right behind me right there uh, and i'm Daycom black rose 1 so that's my xbox and i'm on windows 10 right now uh but basically what I'm going to do is, uh, let me just show you very quickly. So if I come over here, and uh, this one should activate here in a minute. But every one minute, it will change the balance from uh, one player and change the name. Uh, so that way, every player in the game on a realm, which is 10 people or 11 people with the realm owner, uh, will be able to see their name, their balance. And you could do this with multiple things. You could do ranks. You could do totally anything now uh, the lower amount of people the less chance so it's not always best but you can add tags and other things this is just a basic concept guys um, you could get more advanced into it for your servers but uh, let me just show you and break it maybe a couple times just show you so there it goes it goes to balance 201 shows Daycom Black Rose which is me and then he's Daycom Black Rose 2 so let me do it again you can see he has a balance of 100 and, and uh, Daycom Black Rose 2 and you can do it again so a couple times it'll just be a little different uh, because it's using the random ability here uh, so it's scoreboard players test for when it's one minute and that's my timer there uh, once that happens this will reset all players from the server uh, and considering there's only going to be one player which is the player that's going to be showing the balance uh, it's going to delete them and then it's going to randomly select one person now you can have it to where uh it goes through and randomly selects a player or if you want to have uh, in the shop anybody that's in the shop will be added to the um scoreboard i mean there's there's so many different ways to do this but this is just a random one that kind of gives that cool little concept that shows the balance and the player's name and every one minute it'll highlight and do the exact same thing so this one's one minute this one's two minute and this one will reset scoreboard players reset it all server and this one will add a random person to the server like i said if there's 10 people everybody gets a chance <clears throat> uh now this one is going to be where the player's balance comes in uh so before we get into that real quick let me show you you're going to need to go to scoreboard objective and you're going to need to add a timer a money and a server dummy once you've done that then you can actually start doing all these i'll show you the timer in just a second now i've done that in uh some of my older videos if you guys want to go take a look at that so uh this one here is an operations now this is going to be executing all with a score server of 14. now it's only going to be picking one person and giving them that score and then resetting them every time so it's going to only pick that one person that's on the server which will be just like I said, one person. Uh, when it does select that person randomly, it's going to give their scoreboard players operations, and it's going to take the name balance inside of the server. So this is a fake player, but it's basically taking the name balance inside the server, and it's going to equal that player, or you could do at P, but I did it at all because it's only going to be one anyway, but it's going to be the player with the score inside a server of 14 and it's going to be their money so <clears throat> basically this is saying if you guys don't know that the fake player that says balance right there on the screen of 201 well if i was to show you my money my money would say 201 for Daycom black rose and because i'm on there as you guys just saw it just switched uh but if uh i have a 201 balance for my money so when i am selected to be on the sidebar objective right there inside of the server uh it will then say okay daycom black rose is now on the sidebar uh when that happens it will then say okay we're going to change the balance score to match daycon's money 
So it gives you the ability to sit there and cycle through every player that's on your realm. And like I said, once you have 10 people, it'll go through. People can look at that. And then another way when you're doing that is just go and do lists. So scoreboard. <clears throat> let's go to scoreboard and let's go to players, I think. Uh, list. Um, list and then do at all. And then you can just do it like that. So uh, that's easy for when you want to do like your money and all that so you could actually see it when you press escape uh but yeah uh the other thing is this one is how you No, it's the same thing i lied this one over here uh, is how you would uh, add fake players to the game so balance or players like you see above there it'd just be scoreboard players add a fake player whatever name you want to call it to the server scoreboard and give it 13 so you can see that it says balance uh day home black rose 2 player so the player above it'll say player it'll be daycom black rose but you could switch that to whatever and have a really cool server uh the kind of like sidebar thing i didn't really want to get into it too much uh because i'm still kind of sick but i wanted to make a video for you guys and hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did a like comment down below subscribe if you're new let me know if this kind of helped if this is a concept you guys kind of like and like i said you can use this for multiple different things you don't have to just use this for just a realm but when you're creating maps like i said because you can actually use other scoreboards to go into a fake player like for balance this could be used for hide and seek for kills um you could have it to where it says day calm black rose instead of balance you could say okay his kills are 20 or um and you could also do deaths he's died six times or i mean there's so many different things you could do with the operations tag that i just wanted to show you guys that part oh and uh before i forget let me go ahead and quickly briefly show you guys this so it's scoreboard players add milliseconds timer so you're gonna need to add all these and the scoreboard milliseconds timer 20 so every 20 tickets 20 ticks per game which is one second it'll reset you can add one to the seconds timer inside of basically seconds is a fake player inside of the timer and it's going to add one when that happens it'll go all the way to 60 seconds so when that happens it'll reset go to minutes it'll add one to minutes when the minutes go up it'll only go to three out of three and when that happens it'll reset i made a video specifically on that you guys can look that up but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy i'll see you in the next one i'm dick on black rose and i'm out